Governor Luis Fortunio joins us at Heritage to talk about the reforms that he's instituted in Puerto Rico and what the future holds for the U.S. territory, which votes on statehood in November. Governor, thanks for joining us. It's my pleasure. Will Puerto Rico become the 51st state in our lifetime? I certainly hope so, and I believe it should happen, and I'll tell you why. We have been American citizens since 1917. We have served in every war since then with valor and courage, and actually in greater numbers than most states. Actually, in the recent Gold War and Terror, we have uh, contributed over 21,000 of our men and women in uniform to that effort. Uh, our contribution is greater than uh, 45 states. In, in, in spite of our size, uh, and we're proud of that. We're already intertwined into the natural fabric, and, and what ha needs to happen now is for us to be able to fully partake in the decision-making process here in Washington. Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez recently came out and said that Puerto Rico should be fully independent from the United States. What's your reaction? Uh, well, I, I believe in the uh, principle of democracy, and that is that the majority rules. Today, independence garners about 2.5% of the vote in Puerto Rico. Uh, the independence movement in Alaska is stronger than in Puerto Rico. Uh, but Chavez, of course, would like to impose his will as he is trying all over the region. And, and that is another reason why we need to address this issue and fully solve it as soon as possible. And Congress and the White House need to engage with us in solving this issue once and for all. What is your relationship with Chavez? Uh, non-existent. Uh, the last time I tried to get into the country, I stood in the tarmac for three hours and had to leave. So obviously I'm not welcome. Uh, and I wear that as a badge of honor. You're in Washington to talk about some of the challenges facing the U.S.-Caribbean border. What are they? Well, with the beefing up of uh, the federal government uh, operations in the Mexi our Mexican uh, border, uh, Many of the drug cartels that were trafficking through that region have shifted towards the Caribbean again as they were already trafficking in the region in the 1980s. Uh, what are the, I'm demanding from the administration is that they pay attention to our Caribbean border as well. Uh, actually, our estimate was that fully 30% of all the um, uh, drugs coming to the mainland come through the Caribbean. Very recently we have seen numbers that are higher than that. So this is a, an issue that affects everyone, especially in the eastern seaboard. It is affecting communities from Florida all the way up to Boston. And we need to do something about it and actually protect the border where it should be protected, which and that is the U.S. territories of Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Now, Governor, you're a conservative. What is it about conservatism that should appeal to Hispanics? Where, first of all, we are naturally uh, conservative in terms of social issues. Family is key in our uh, social fabric. Actually, everything revolves around the family. Uh, our faith is very strong, regardless of, of whether you are a Catholic or evangelical or what have you. Uh, and thirdly, uh, uh, small and medium-sized businesses are, are very important in our uh, communities. Thus, we don't like paying taxes. We don't like the government getting intruding into our, our businesses and lives. And that's why we have streamlined our permitting process. We have lower taxes. And I, I suggest that that's exactly what needs to happen across the country. Governor, how did you balance the budget in Puerto Rico and reduce the overall tax burden? Well, you must commence by uh, reducing the size of government reducing the budget, we reduced the size of our budget by 20%, fully 20%. I started with my own salary, uh, cabinet member salaries and other expenses, and then we went on down the list, merging agencies, we had to reduce the payroll, and at the end of the day, we were able to uh, accomplish our goal, which was to uh, bring a greater balance to our budgetary process, and, uh, and that, that allowed us to start lowering taxes and that has sparked economic development and uh, job creation finally after a long recession. 